Hello and welcome to how to know the difference between casts and interfaces. Now cast and interfaces are two tools available to you inside Unreal Engine 4 and they both have different uses inside your game. So I'm going to go through in this video and explain the two uses and explain the difference between when you'd want to use one or the other. Let's start with casting. Casting is the act of transferring a parent known reference into its child reference version. Now in Unreal and in most programming languages we deal with inheritance. So a lot of actors inherit from other actors. For example, the parent class of the third person character is a character class. In turn, the parent class of a character class is a pawn and then in turn of that is an actor. So we use inheritance to pass through different functions, variables and so forth into its children. So that's where casting comes into play. There are functions that you may build and functions included in Unreal that get you a reference, such as get player character. Get player character returns to you a character object reference. You can see that when you hover over the pin, a character object reference, which is correct. But what if you want to get the specific actor, this in this case, third person character, which is a child of character. Now, because it's a child of character, we can cast this to the third person character. What that will do is transform this reference that we're passing through into here out as a more specific reference. If it does not belong to that same inheritance and in, in that same family, the cast will fail down through this branch here. So remember, the reason for casting is to transform a parent reference into a child reference. Now an interface is something completely different. What an interface does, it allows you to share like functions across multiple different families, so to speak, of different classes. And you create a reference by going to add blueprints, blueprint interface, and you can name it whatever you like. And inside of there, you can set up functions. And these functions are just names and their inputs and outputs. You don't actually provide them any sort of code. They're just names and inputs and outputs. So in this one, we'll have the interact with function. And it may have an input on here saying the character that's been interacting with this. To add an interface to an actor, you go to class settings. And on the right hand side, you find interfaces. Here you choose the add drop down and find your interface. When you compile, you'll see on the left hand side, the functions that have been brought forward from the interface. Now, what does this mean? Well, we can add interfaces to different families of classes. So let's say, for example, you've got multiple things that could be interacted with. These could be items, buttons, switches, all sorts of things like that. Now, what we can do for each one of those is give them the same interface. And what that means is that on our, on our objects, such as this one, we can right click and add that new uh, interact with function that we've created in our interface. Like so, and you can see it brings over that parameter. Now with this interface though, we can call it through another actor. So let's go from the th third person character here. And from here, we can just do and call the interact with message and pass through this character and the target who's who you want to check the uh, function for so this could be anything we want uh, we just go get uh, actor we'll do actor class and we'll choose my new blueprint now made and what that's going to do is just going to tell this return value whatever it may be and try to an attempt to call the interact to interact with function now, if this function does not exist because it does not inherit the interface, nothing will happen. You won't get no errors, you won't get no issues, it just won't run anything. But if it does interact with it, uh, sorry, it does have an interface with this, then it will actually run this code, whether it is attached to this actor. So to recap, casting is the act of transforming a parent reference into its child version, and an interface is used to give like uh, functions across multiple different families of classes. This makes it super useful when you want to create interactive 
components such as this and other such tools. Another thing you may want to do is things like damage your own damage interfaces, your own combat interfaces, your own online interfaces. These things can then interact with multiple different classes without any issues. Hopefully that clears things up between casting interfaces. If you have any further questions about either of these, please leave a comment in the boxes below. Thanks very much for watching. If you want to watch more of my content, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Ailey. You can watch all of my content well before anyone else from just $1 a month. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.